Hey, it's your tutor, Courtney Waterman, lover of anime, manga, and math. And this is another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be jumping into a fourth grade topic, finding the midpoint between two numbers. If you have any questions about what you see here today, or maybe even some of your own homework, remember, you can always put it in the comment box below or visit me on Facebook, at Tutomi Senpai. Also remember to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and notification bell if you find this video helpful. Without further ado, let's jump straight into our question for today. So today's question has us trying to find the midpoint between 9,260 and 9,270. Now, when you're trying to find the midpoint of two numbers as we are today, that's just finding the middle number between the two. If you were to write out all the numbers starting from this one here up to this one here, like I did in this example, then you would see that the middle number or the midpoint is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this would be the middle number, right? And you can always just write it out, but there are some times where the gap is just way too big and this is going to take up a lot of space. So instead of writing out all of them and figuring out which one is directly in the middle, I'm going to show you some quick, easy steps to do this. So we'll write this here just so we know what the actual midpoint is. So when we compare our answer to what we have here, we'll know if we did it right. Whenever you're trying to find the midpoint or the middle number between two numbers, you really only need to do three steps. The first one is subtraction. The second is division. And the third is addition. If you can do all three of these, then finding the midpoint is going to be very simple for you. And here's what I mean. The first thing you do, subtraction, is you take the end number that's the biggest, in this case, 9,270, and we subtract the first number, 9,260. So if we subtract these two, you'll realize you get... 10, right? So step one, done. Now moving on to the second step, we have division. But the true second step is division by 2. So we want to take our answer that we found with our subtraction and divide that by 2. So what do you get when you divide 10 by 2? You get 5, right? So now that we've done our second step, dividing by 2, you realize we did the first two steps, we move on to the third step, addition. So we're going to take this answer and we're going to add it to the first number. So when we do that, we get 9,260 plus 5. And what is 9,260 plus 5? 9,265. Which is the same answer we got when we wrote everything out. So we know that this is indeed the midpoint or the middle number between these two numbers. So now that we see that it works, let's go over the true three steps just so you know what you have to do moving forward. So the first step is subtraction, right? But what you're subtracting is the first number from the last number. So subtraction is the first number from the last number. You have to take this from that. And then whatever you get from that answer, then you move on to the second step, and we divide. So division by 2. So you take the previous answer and divide it by 2. And then the last step, we're going to take the answer we get from step 2 and do our addition. And we're going to add the number that we got 
to the first number. So add previous result or answer to first number. If you do these three steps, you will get your midpoint. And you might be thinking, why does this work? Well, the reason why this works is when we subtract, we're really finding the distance between the two numbers. So this was 10 apart, right? It was 10 apart. If you start here and you move up 10 places, you get here, right? Start here, move up 10 spots, you get here. Division by two takes 10 and divides it in half. So we don't want to go the full 10. We want to go half as far. So that's how we got five, right? And then we have to do this last step because you can't just put five here as the answer because five is not in between these answers here, right? So you have to do this last step because we add whatever distance we're going to travel to our starting point. If you forget this last step and you go straight from two to the final answer, you may not get the correct answer depending on where your starting point is. So remember, this is a three step process. First, subtraction. Subtract the first number from the last number. Take that number here and then divide it by two. Take that number you get and then add it to the first number. You do all of that, you get your answer. I hope you were able to follow along with today's exercise, but if you found it a little bit difficult, remember you can always put in the comment box below any questions that you might have had. Or you can visit me on Facebook if you have questions about your own homework that you'd like to see on this channel. Remember you can find me at Tutorme Senpai. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave that like, it really helps the channel. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell and smash the subscribe button so you know exactly when I drop my next videos. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I really hope this helped with your homework, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Senpai.